Hello everyone, Blind Wave here, Rick Reacts, Rick and Lessa Reacts, Game of Thrones, episode, season five, episode seven, <laughs> I had trouble, <laughs> season three, what did I say? Season five. Damn it! <laughs> You're not there yet, you got a few <laughs> things to go through first. <laughs> what happened last time? Uh, the lady in red bought, what's his name's bastard? Uh, Robert Baratheon's? Yes. Bastard. You guys don't even remember his name? I do. He's soon to die. <laughs> He's his own man. <laughs> oh, you mean the blacksmith's name? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Whose name I know. Do you? I do. Uh, Renly. What? No. Renly. No. What's What's his name, Rick? I know it. I do know you? it! Because Barley it doesn't look like Baratheon. you know it right now. <laughs> it's Arya's friend. <laughs> <laughs> I know his name! Arya's friend if Baratheon. I, down, I swear I know it. You know, you could also mean Hot Pie because that's not a distinguishing feature. Oh. Just Arya's friend. I mean, he gave her Arya's a tall pie. Friend. <laughs> Arya's taller friend. You could say that, I don't know. Her brother is her tall friend. I wrote down a whole family tree at one point, and it's all gone. Mm -hmm. Did you steal it? Mm -hmm. I worked hard on that. Yeah. It starts with a B. Does it? I'm pretty positive. What what follows the B? R. <laughs> Let's play B -R. Real Fortune. So start B R A, B R B, <laughs> B R C, <laughs> B R. Google. <laughs> you definitely know his name. It's right on the tip of my head. Do you want me to give it to you? <sighs> or do you want to win? It's not Brienne. If, if, you look up, <laughs> if you look up notes, then you're cheating. No, it's not. It's, it's not just regret. remembering. Indiana Jones's dad wrote things down so he wouldn't have to remember. It was good enough for him. Yeah, but look what happened Bilbo. to Bilbo. <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten. Gendry. Damn it! I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> you do. You know these names. I always names. try to remember because it's kind of like Foundry. <laughs> I do. But that does no good. Yep. Yeah. So Gendry, Gendry was bought mm -hmm. by Malisandra. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Um, someone was brought, brought, brought back to life. I can't talk today. Someone was brought back to life? That was in the previous that episode. Was, that oh. was two episodes ago. I know, but it was crazy. It, it was, was pretty good. Crazy. Bear's mentioning. Uh, Beric Dondarrion yes. was the man. And Thoros of Myr was the lucky man who said the words. The lucky man. But, uh, <laughs> priest. He got married. He's, he's the priest who said the words, but he gave all of his, uh, all of the glory to the Lord of Light. Which, yes. if you think about Melisandre and how and she light. talks... She more takes credit for the works herself. Yeah. Right. She's it, like, you shouldn't have this power. I was like, I don't. Right. So. Sure. Mm -hmm. She she was pretty jealous, oh, <laughs> as yeah. you can tell. Just Moses versus Aaron. Yep. Shadow babies are nothing compared to what about resurrection. Aaron? <laughs> yeah. huh? Shadow babies are nothing compared to resurrection. No. Like, anybody can probably make a shadow baby come out of their... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I was just trying to think of the most like just ridiculously comical word for it. But... For it. Who has up there? Who has who has my go to generally? Lady Cave. No, they were in the cave. Slash. No. Because that's slang for something else as well. I mean everything's a slang for something else. No, but Yeah. No. Yeah. Because no. every every word word in the world. Sooner or later comes to mean a man's private parts. It's true. Or a woman's. Even then. <laughs> it becomes a euphemism. Yep. <laughs> Every word becomes a euphemism. Um, oh my gosh, so many people <clears throat> got engaged. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of that. Five. John uh, Clum. Five engagements or whatever. John uh -huh. Clum a wall. Yep. Uh, the wildling scouts mm -hmm. climbed the wall. Half of them died in the venture. Um, more than half. Yeah, <laughs> quite a few. There was four strings of them that went up, and one of them survived. <laughs> Luckily, all of our main characters were on one! Yeah. If, so I, there, if yeah. I'd have been one of them wildling red shirts, I probably would have would have at least tried to protest. Like, are you sure you guys don't want, like... To split us to split up? Split up! Yeah. It's like, I might die anyway. But... So, uh, yeah, we have four of our characters on top of the wall. Um, mm -hmm. 
John and Egret. Egret and Rattleshirt and the Bear Fucker. <laughs> Tormund. Tormund Giant's I knew his name. So, what do you think is going to happen? I think we could push the elevator button and wait, ride down, kill a bunch of people. I think so much time passed of them climbing the wall that by the time they get into the castle, it will just be all, uh, what's his name, and Gilly's children. Manning? Sam? Yeah, Sam and Gilly spawn. They haven't even reached the wall yet. I, I, there was a kind but she's of, saying it'll take so long. They'll yeah. get there first. Have had children. That, that long extended scene where they were looking out over the green country south of the wall, all that time was... What I think will happen is they'll get down there, they'll be sneaky sneaky, they'll open the door, and all the waddlings will be dead, and the White Walkers will come in. Mm. That's what I think will happen. I'm All excited. the wall people will die. and Winter is coming. <laughs> winter is coming. Hopefully it's here. <laughs> Speaking of winter is coming, it snowed this morning. A little bit. Here it did, yeah. Yeah. Good inch trip. No, yeah, it but it wasn't melted. It got much colder. Mm. But it and snowed. windy today. Before. Yeah. It was windy and it was cold really pretty. yesterday, too. It was. Yeah, it but got, it was pretty It seemed to today. come quickly. Like the humidity warm, came up a little bit, but then cold. Yeah, super cold. You need one of these. And that's your weather update, folks. And one of the cloaks. Probably or, doesn't pertain to you, but one of the one of the uh, crow robes. Yep. Yeah, I'd like one of those. It doesn't I look like they're made costume. out of crows, though. I mean, you can take that coat off and wear that, and keep you warm. It's true. <laughs> put the coat on. Just put the crow robe over you like a bib, crow bib. <clears throat> Like your Arya costume. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big so, crinkly. Yeah. Um, so Jamie is still captive. Mm. Mm-hmm. They won't. They'll let him go, but they won't let Brienne go. Yeah. So that's what uh, <clears throat> Roos said. Roos Bolton. Right. Um, and then, see, I'm getting the last two episodes mixed up. It wasn't, Just go for it. Yeah. There's timelines that haven't been brought back up since the last couple ones. So if you yeah, want to just go, if through, you go characters, through characters. Well, yeah. I was thinking of. Um, I bet we'll get a Daenerys update this one. In the Daenerys? Daenerys. Oh, Daenerys. Yeah. Yo, what do you think? Do you think they'll. Like, what, what do you think will happen when she lands? Um, lands in the new city? Mm hmm. New city She's or got Westeros? An army. What do you mean? In Westeros. Oh, okay. Oh, that won't be for yonks, will it, though? Yeah, you're probably right. I mean, she has a considerable army. Yeah? And she has the gold probably now to buy the ships. And dragons. And she has dragons. Who needs an army when you have dragons? I mean, she does. Okay. <laughs> she did. She really did. <laughs> <laughs> Can't win a war without a land army. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so King Joffrey got his first taste of the kill. That wasn't last episode. That was the one before? No, nope, that was this last one. Yeah. Okay. That was this last one. With with the talk of... Uh, For some reason, I thought it was this thing. Little Chaos versus Varys, order. Right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, yeah. Chaos. He's not a pit. That's right. And Chaos. Sansa, again, standing on the shores of the city, she so desperately wants crying. to leave, crying as she watches transport going without her. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> I think you guys hate her so much. How does this keep happening? I don't. I don't mind her. Honestly, her character is very true. But if I met her in real life, I'd be very frustrated. I think I probably would have slept. Because I've met her in real life before, and she's very frustrating. Yeah, it's like the whole the actress, female the Stark line, except for Arya. It's bad stock. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Ned chose poorly. Full of bad choices. <laughs> Arya is the exception. Mm. To be fair. Most of Stark's bad choices. I mean, there's only except for Arya. One other female Stark that we know. Jon isn't even a Stark, so. And that's the one that you're comparing to Arya. Sansa. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a married in Stark now, but she's kind of brought trouble on them as well. Yes, her too. She counts. Yep. I'm talking about yep. Talissa. Talissa. Yep. Yeah. The medic. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm sure that's what they scream on the battlefield. <laughs> Just keep mashing the number eight on their keyboard. <laughs> Is it number eight? I can't remember. It's been too long since I've played Battlefield. Um, well, let's get to it. I guess yes. so. Somebody wanna hit the button? Full length? You gotta hit the button! Ah. Harder. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Messenger a crow! Ring. That's pretty loud, actually. I'm sorry. There's another oh, they crow! Gave up. No, there isn't. You'll know crow. How far are we? There he is. <laughs> Jack Sparrow? <laughs> he definitely looked like Jack Sparrow there. <laughs> he's very he he's from Pirates. He's the guy with the wooden eye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Don't look. <laughs> <laughs> they call her Cockblock Catlin. <laughs> Is that really what they call her? <laughs> <laughs> uh, more of this. <clears throat> Not blocking much. And he says he'll come to visit. <laughs> Called it. Many surprises. Mm-hmm. He's like, wait. <laughs> Ari's gonna be an ant. Yeah. She'll be the fun <laughs> ant. <laughs> Oh, great. Silly kisser. Baby seal. And then you go inside. But slowly. Don't jam it in like you're sparing a pig. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Get over here. I'll show you. <laughs> Where's that pig? <laughs> stupid little girl. This stupid dream to never learn. I thought you were going to say stupid learns. <laughs> With stupid learns in my head. Is it supposed, supposed to make it better? Good thing. How do you know all this? Did your mother teach you? <laughs> yes, sweet girl. Wait one, bet the other. All you have to do is guess on the starter. Smart man. Pragmatic. No. He's gonna give him a scolding. Ooh. Ah! He'll do it without smacking him, though. Oh, I'm sure he can whip him with his tongue. Mm. So if I wanted to attend a council meeting, I would now have to climb all the stairs in the Tower of the Hand. Good arranged to have you carry them. <laughs> <laughs> He's so small now. <laughs> From now on, I will see to it that you are appropriately consulted on important matters. <laughs> Whenever necessary. There's <laughs> <laughs> two disclaimers in there. <laughs> A lot of, yeah. <laughs> All that's missing is a picture of Khaleesi in the same pose as she's sitting in the throne in the hall behind her. <laughs> as I said, we are a generous people. Now please go away. That you use the ship. <laughs> Those who survive, we shall enslave once more. Perhaps we'll make a slave of you as well. You swore me safe conduct. I did. Bet my dragons made no promises. Now get out. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Powerful friend. Baby. She's a good boy. Did you see that, mommy? Did you see? Huh? I scared him off. I got the shinies, mommy. <laughs> oh dear. You could buy a ship. Do I need a ship? <laughs> <laughs> She's the most aggravating person to argue with. Am I invited to your wedding? <laughs> Jay, ride the midget to the top <laughs> of the world. Oh. 
the bastard. Well, Royal the bastard. bastard of Robert of the House Baratheon. First of his name, King of the Andals and the First Man. Ah, I love that Baratheon theme music in the background. One day you'll understand. But now. Don't forget your sword! That guy's name is Man Guy. <laughs> Dude, bro! Do you know I believe him? I believe he'll try. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's the first time in a long time somebody's called him by his actual name. Mm hmm. I'm coming from her. Have each other's respect. Yes. Gotta make sure he doesn't die yet. Miranda knows what she's doing. Don't you want us to see it? <laughs> oh, let us see it. <laughs> <laughs> Is he a castle <laughs> anthrax? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Terrible timing. <laughs> whoops, whoops. Making a few alterations. Well, I'm Jon Snow and I'm from Winterfell. My daddy was a fancy lord and I lived in the tower that touched the clouds. Oh, a spider! Save me, Jon Snow! My dress is made of the purest silk from Tra-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-
They built a castle around the bear. The bear was there first. Bears are too hey, scary to catch. <laughs> maybe there will be six weddings. Jamie <gasps> and Brienne. <laughs> I think Jamie Cersei let that out. <laughs> Jamie and Brienne are back on the road again. Yep. On the road again. Yep. Arya. And they're best of friends. Ran off again. Without Needle, though. She didn't have Needle when she ran off. Yeah. Mm. It's terribly disappointing. Mm. She'll be back for it. She'll all grow it soon enough. <laughs> I'll grow it? <laughs> Probably. I'm sure the hound has, like, a pocket knife or something she could use in the meantime. Maybe. Arya and the hound. Yeah, what do you think will happen there? Well, isn't he on her list? <laughs> For the baker's boy? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, butcher's boy. They might learn to... She might learn to forgive. Just one. He might continue her sword lessons. There you go. He might ha get She'll the sword. She'll be like, I'll like, kill this? you later. <laughs> And then pull a, a um... Claymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's still Castle Forge Steel. Wouldn't be so easy just to break it over your knee, but... He's the hound, and it's a tiny thing. He'll find a way. Break all tiny things. He'll make a paper clip out of it. No. He should have broken... Uh, my brain's dead this week. The king! The Joffrey? king, yes. Should have broken Joffrey. Should have broken Joffrey. Just in Joffrey general. <laughs> <laughs> like Bane to Batman. That's <laughs> 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 what he should have done. I would love to see like <laughs> some type of fan film or something where Sandor Clegane is, is Bane. <laughs> Who would be Batman? In this universe? Yeah. Arya. Arya. Arya? Yeah. Her parents were killed. She swore revenge. Be She's gone kind of little insane. Who'd be Joker? Joffrey, right? Joffrey. Joffrey. Yeah. yeah. Mm. What about Robin? I, f I feel like Arya would be Robin. To whom? I don't know. Oh, well, no. I was going to say to um, uh, Bronn. Bron. Maybe Bronn could be Batman. Bronn could be Batman. <laughs> Bron could that would be, be cool. Batman. That'd be interesting. <laughs> but he kills people. So much. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. He'd be, he'd be a don't give a shit's Batman. It would be cool if like Barrick was Batman. Yeah. That would be cool. He keeps cool. coming back to life. That kind of holds together. It's very hard to kill Batman. So then Thoros is... Um, We're going to accomplish nothing. He's Alfred. <laughs> no, no, no. No, he's uh, uh, Raja Ghul. Oh, or yeah. No. I guess Barrick would be Raja Ghul. Because he keeps coming back to life. Yeah. Yeah. So... Who's Thoros then? <laughs> He'd be need to be a magic user in the DC universe. <laughs> He'd have to be like uh Martian Manhunter. No, he's, he's telepathic, magic. not magic. I was thinking of uh I can't remember his name. I watched all of Young Justice and I can't remember his name. Um oh, no. Raven. No. <laughs> Cyclops. No. Not Cyclops. Magic Cyborg. user. Beastmaster. Magic. <laughs> He's got a daughter. So, Theon and Varys have something in common now. Zatara. What? Zatara. Zatara. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, yes, Theon and... Yes, you're yes. right. Yep. They do have something in common. Yep. <laughs> a negative of something. Oh. Well, <laughs> you know. Yeah. I'm glad it faded out, actually. <laughs> Don't particularly want to see that kind of gore. I'm good. Mm. I saw the knife. That was pretty descriptive that was gruesome of as what enough. was going Yeah. yeah. Squirrel skinning knife there. Yep. Like a massive squirrel. Well, I guess, actually, after like all the torture, um, he would probably be Joker. <laughs> I'm sure his mind's broken. Theon? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe it fixed him, though. Maybe he'll Maybe be sane from him? now on. I don't Maybe, think so. Maybe <laughs> uh, Theon is. Uh... Oh, shoot. The Batman episode. Which. Bane of Thrones. Whichever Robin. Yeah, Joker tortured and he became the Red Mask. Yeah. Red Hood. Yeah. So yeah, I guess Theon would be the Red Hood. That makes sense. 
Don't look at me, I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see, Melisandre would be... Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy. Uh, Both fire. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> kind of fits, I guess. <laughs> Both redheads. Yeah. Mm. Is that where we're going on? Both control <laughs> with, over elements, kind of. With yeah. uh, Zatara, we went with, no, just a magic user. <laughs> with Melisandre, <laughs> she's a redhead. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to the episode. Not DC Game of Thrones crossover bullshit. So Rob's going to be a daddy. Yeah. Yes. Maybe twins. Well, he mentioned I mean, that as like I a guess. Christmas list. Don't be greedy, though. Yeah. A Christmas list. Triplets, greedy guts scrub. He's got to replace a lot of Starks. <laughs> well, only, bam! He's only been... Uh, he's got to replace a lot of characters, let's say. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... He's going to still name uncle? the first one Ned? Probably. Yeah. If it's a boy. If it's yeah. a girl, probably not. Neddy. Yeah. <laughs> Nedra. Or Nedlin. Or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Ned Talia. Ned, but with a Y. <laughs> Ned. Like N Y E D. Yeah. Ned! <sighs> Charles Dance spanked um, Joffrey. <laughs> yes. Jack Gleason. Jack Gleason. What? It's Joffrey's name. Oh. It's the actor's name. Do you know, I think I knew that, but not right that moment. <laughs> not to be confused with Jackie Gleason. Yeah, different. Very so, different. <laughs> so, Charles Dance actually still has... Tywin. Tywin still has authority <laughs> over Joffrey that Joffrey acknowledges. Not he fusses right. a bit, but <laughs> he doesn't... Like, well, I mean, Tywin, Tywin plays the part of being the dutiful hand. I mean, Tywin and Tyrion were really the only ones that disciplined him at all. Yeah. But he already overgrew, overgrew Tyrion? S stepped outside of Tyrion, or whatever. Yeah. Like, he hasn't yeah. gotten to that point with Tywin yet. No, Tywin's scarier. He's the final boss. Everyone's scared of Tywin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Possibly the most <laughs> powerful man, the most respected yeah. man in all, feared, of, very dangerous in all of Game of Thrones. I mean, look how much how much harm and damage he's done with just having people marry each other. I imagine <laughs> it's also that way on set as well with probably. Charles Dance. Yeah, probably. He probably <laughs> never has to go around anything to get from point A to point B. He just walks and a path clears. <laughs> it's like. Oh shit, they're all just walking again. We gotta move the set. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's like modular, so they can just like crank a handle and pop it apart and push it over. <laughs> it's on wheels and everything. Yeah. He just starts acting over here. Yeah. Oh, it's a set. Shit, Wait, move it. Set. Quick, he's, he's, this is gold. <laughs> <laughs> they always have to have like people holding like green screen umbrellas around him. <laughs> like. So they can just roto him into a scene later, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> <sighs> yep, Charles Dance is pretty cool. So we had more uh, North stuff, mm -hmm. more drama going on. Yeah, just party drama though. A love triangle. Yeah, we're talking about more of a ball. love a frame, or I guess in between. Huh? Well, we're talking about Jon Snow. Yeah. 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 Because they're south of the wall now. It's true. Mm -hmm. Just a bit. She saw a windmill. Yeah. Jon Snow. It got her all hot and bothered. Jon Snow still knows nothing, so some things never change. Repeatedly. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> War never changes. Jon Snow knows nothing. He makes good points, though. He does. I mean, that whole the whole bit with her being like, Six "Oh, times. you don't know how to yeah. walk with one foot in front of the other," and he's like, "You have to keep time. It's marching." And she's like, "What good is that?" And I'm thinking. Over here thinking, yeah, the Celts and the Romans. <laughs> the Celts didn't do so well. <laughs> they didn't do Even so well. Even on their home well. turf. Yeah. And this time it won't be on their home turf. Turf. Ugh. Turf. <laughs> you said it twice. I was Ugh. like, uh. Turf. Who's that? Somebody's marrying Turf. <laughs> Brienne. <laughs> Why do I have to write that? Brienne of Turf. There we go. Brienne of Turf. It's been a long week and it's only Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do? Yeah. So what is Daenerys? She wants to... 
Sack the city of Yun... Yunkai. 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 It's almost like the snake people from Dungeons and Dragons. She wants to kill the Yankees. Um, I mean, to free the slaves, I guess. Yeah. But she what does that get her? I mean, it gets her plunder from the city. 20,000 slaves. 200,000. 200, Whatever. But like... I mean... <laughs> <laughs> she's probably not going to bring those slaves with her to Westeros. Probably not all of them. There's because, women and children and men who... I mean, I'm sure Westeros would need to build a wall <laughs> to keep out those immigrants. <laughs> 200,000. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> they did it once and I mean, there's sort of a worked. lot of people dying in Westeros right now. There's probably some empty houses somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. And those White Walkers, there's going to be a lot more, probably. Yes. Could be. It'd be funny, though, if they could just never get over the wall. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they have it. <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah. But I still think they're going to open the doors and be like, Army, come in! Bra. Not that they go bra, but... I bet some of them do. Maybe. You've got enough extras in there that they're like, I'm playing a zombie, I don't know, whatever. Most of their tongues are probably frostbitten off. Ooh. Wait. Except they'd be cold. They've, did you say most of their tongues they have frostbitten off? Like, they've turned to frost and they, I, I, I don't know, they bit them off. <laughs> yeah, they tricked sure, their head a little. That works too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh. I wonder if they have a king, like the Lich King. That'd be cool. The White Walkers? That would suggest. Yeah. That would uh. Or if there's like a necromancer or something. Something, some organization behind them? I don't know. I mean, there was all those horses that they lined up in a, in a pretty pattern, like a kaleidoscope. I mean, they just so there's something pretty pictures. behind them. Yeah. They might just remember the, the hell tactics. Out of <laughs> too. It's hard to say, but. And maybe it's one of those things where if you've been a White Walker long enough, or if you kill enough humans and eat them, or I don't know. I'm surprised news hasn't reached Varus of the fall of the slave city yet. Yeah. Like, it didn't seem like. I mean, who was left to tell? We didn't see Varys this episode either. No, that's true, but when Tywin briefed Joffrey, he didn't yeah, mention, but, like... But there were two oh, large disclaimers in there. By the way... <laughs> if I think you need to know Important something. matters <laughs> when necessary. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I guess he's just a puppet king. I'd say Tywin is doing his darndest to make it that way. And so is his wife, his fiance. Marjorie. So is Marjorie, too, I think. Mm. Yeah. Everyone's leeching the power away from him she's, as fast uh, as they can. Yeah. Which she's, is good, because he's a rotten little little wet shit. Sociopath. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Psychopath. She's gearing up for a very long and difficult life, but also... Something very rewarding. She's looking forward to children and ruling I mean, High Garden and the Seven could, Kingdoms. You know, just if she was able to have a boy on the first go, then she could just poison him. Yep. And she'd be Queen Regent. Uh, he tripped, like his Cersei. crossbow went off. It was well, terrible. But with an infant child that actually can't rule <laughs> for a while. <laughs> yeah. And a child, hopefully, she'll be a better mother too. Yeah. <laughs> and she's, um, we haven't met her mother yet, have we? Who? Marjorie's. No. We met her grandmother. And we've met her father. But we don't know, like, if her mother's dead or anything, do we? Mm -hmm. We don't know. All the women in the Tyrell family seem to do well. They should get together with the Starks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should. <clears throat> That's good. So... And then, the wedding at the Troll Bridge. Do you think that... Yeah, so the wedding between... I mean, obviously the wedding for... J, um, obviously the wedding for Joffrey would be at King's Landing, probably. Yes. Yeah. But the wedding for Sansa, that's a little more interesting. Hmm. I mean, there's no Winterfell anymore. 
<laughs> so you can't really have it there. Yeah. Um, they. I mean, she, would... she asked before. It's like, could I invite my family? Yeah. I was like, well, I mean, they're they're at war, so no. <laughs> but, I mean, it, if it was part of a peace treaty, they'd be idiots to have it at King's Landing. So they need to have it, like you said, somewhere neutral. Mm-hmm. Whatever that means. Yeah. And preferably somewhere religious. <laughs> or, <laughs> you know, sanctified, you know. Mm. Like the sept. They should have it with a whole bunch of uh, actually worth wild priests of the fire god <laughs> yeah just standing by <laughs> yeah but i don't think the uh the one true the light yeah. of the seven would shine upon the gods of, or the the priests of the red god <laughs> <laughs> i think whoever is actually doing the marrying would uh not be pleased at all <laughs> probably not well you know so there's are there three different like religions that we've run into so far. There's the one with the trees, and there are many gods. Well, there's also the Dothraki religion about like the world's deed and mm-hmm. all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. So. And the one that will mount the world. Yeah. Yeah. So there's they, there's a really bunch of different theologies. I'm sure, every culture has. But their as far own. as as far as ones that have made themselves into sort of a political. Yeah, and we've also seen like in marine. It was the big statue of the the wing creature thing. And um, the... Um, Make something big enough, people will worship it. The Greyjoys <laughs> worship the drowned god, don't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is dead may never die. Yeah. So. Which will probably <clears throat> be of small comfort to Theon. Cause... He goes crazy, though. He becomes a disciple of Cthulhu or Dagon. <gasps> yes! Oh, and it's all a Lovecraft story. This then, works. Yeah, the Elder Ones are the true <laughs> <laughs> the Elder Gods. Well, we do have mentioned several times of the Old Gods. Mm. Yeah. Those are the ones with the trees. Even older, maybe. Older than that? <laughs> <clears throat> so, Jamie saved Brienne. The Hound captured Arya. Theon lost his little gray joy. <laughs> Is there a hyphen in there somewhere? <laughs> now he's just gray. No more joy. Yeah, just gray. <laughs> Theon the gray. <laughs> Maybe we'll become Theon the white. <laughs> was, yeah. <laughs> uh, Danny is freeing slaves. Just everywhere she goes. Just cuz. She won't... <laughs> Go Piss past. Some slave drivers off too. She yeah, won't. and they're friends. Yeah, yeah. So powerful she, she friends. Can make powerful more friends. enemies. She already has all to get more as slaves an enemy. to make more enemies to make more. Yeah, that woman. The she won't go past her enemy the, as well. Yeah, won't go past the Seven Eleven without freeing the minimum wage workers. What's that got to She's like, what was your name, Charles? Like, well, you can pick a Jeez. new name if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Better wrap it up. Oh, I'll start eating the table. Oh, it's like your stomach is just... <laughs> <laughs> well, um, one thing I asked you, you guys say. a while ago, and you guys were talking about... Other um, things, more important things. Nicholas Cage. <gasps> yes. Um, when will he come in? <laughs> no, I uh, I wrote a name down that time, but I was wanting you to guess and see who I think would be a good who you think? casting for Nicolas Cage in this show. Oh. I think um, just they should just swap out an established actor in a role. And it should just be Nicolas Cage for a couple of, of episodes. No, that's what I mean. But, like, who would he replace? Marjorie. <laughs> He'd punch Marjorie in a bear suit. He's <laughs> <laughs> the bear! He's the bear that roughed up Brienne. There you go. Um, he should be king of the, the Lich King or whatever that you mentioned that we don't sure. know if I would exists. say Tyrion. Tyrion? That's my guess. Should be... 
the dwarf man for a couple episodes. Gary Oldman did it. He's Gary Oldman now. Oh, <laughs> 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 door. <laughs> he put too much inflection into it. <laughs> different every time. Yeah. Uh. Um, or he's just start shouting it over and over and over again. Yeah. We're like, calm down, God, he's gonna go. <laughs> so who is it? I would say Jack and Hagar, the faceless man. The faceless man. Face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of Game of Thrones. Join us next week when we hear Lessa say. I don't remember his name, but he was the guy with the, the hat that kind of went like this. And then I just Subscribe go if you haven't already. <laughs> Patreon's over there. If you want to get early access and full length, check the links down in the description also. Bye! Bye!